All right, folks, welcome back to another enlightening episode where we dive deep into the fascinating world of biochemistry. Today, we're uncovering the secrets of aging and longevity through an incredible molecule known as NAD, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. Now, I know what you might be thinking, what even is that? Well, let me tell you, it's literally essential for life itself. Without NAD, life would just stop. Imagine trying to make a car run without gasoline. That's what it's like without NAD. Wait, hold on. So you're saying NAD is like the gasoline of our cells? That's, um, wild. But how does it even work though? I mean, I get that it's important, but what happens if we don't have enough of it? Excellent question. NAD plays a crucial role in energy production within our cells. Think of it as the key that unlocks pathways for converting food into that precious energy. But here's the kicker. As we age, our NAD levels decline. This decline can lead to some pretty rough consequences, such as mitochondrial dysfunction and increased DNA damage. Our mitochondria? They're the powerhouses of the cell, the batteries that keep us running. If those batteries start to fail, we begin to feel the effects of aging. Uh, wow, that's like when your phone battery dies unexpectedly. So, um, what do we do if our batteries are running low? Is there any way to recharge them? Exactly! There are these incredible NAD precursors, namely nicotinamide riboside and nicotinamide mononucleotide. These compounds act like boosters for our NAD levels. Picture it as giving your battery a quick charge. You can even find these compounds in your food. Salmon and spinach are great sources. Imagine munching on your salad and giving your body a hug of longevity. Who knew greens could be so powerful? Whoa, hold up. So like eating a salad could um, actually help me live longer? Are there any studies on this? Yes, indeed. There's a growing body of research that shows how these supplements can increase NAD levels in animals, which can lead to benefits like improved metabolism and enhanced cognitive function. However, we must proceed with caution. Most studies on animals use high doses that might not be safe for humans. Oh man, so it's like that time I tried a new energy drink and ended up bouncing off the walls? Laughs. But what about humans? How much of the nicotinamide riboside should we take for it to actually work? Haha, -ha, exactly. Great analogy. Preliminary human studies indicate that low doses can effectively increase NAD levels. But here's where it gets tricky. The long-term effects are still being researched. We can't just jump on board without sufficient evidence. It's like buying a new car. You wouldn't just drive it off the lot without checking reviews and mileage, right? Right, so it's kind of like we're all in this um, experimental phase for longevity, huh? If more studies show significant positive effects, we could be looking at a whole new understanding of aging. That's so exciting! Absolutely. Aging shouldn't be viewed as an inevitable decline. Rather, it's a journey we can navigate with the right tools. But until we have clearer insights, caution is essential. So it's like preparing for a big exam. You wouldn't just wing it, you'd study, right? If we get better data on NAD boosters, we could um, really revolutionize health and longevity. You got it. Significant shifts in our understanding of aging can profoundly impact health outcomes and quality of life. But remember, while the research looks promising, we need to remain vigilant and keep an eye out for ongoing studies. I can't wait. It's like finding a treasure map for staying young. All right, this has been incredibly enlightening. So to sum it up, moderation, patience, and quality research. Got it? Exactly. Always remember, it's about understanding and making informed choices, my friend. Until next time. See you next time. I'm going to find my salad now. Laughs. <laughs>